Shohei Otani's pretty good, okay? Um, d- didn't get to this one last week, uh, just honestly forgot, which is, I think, a bit of a statement on baseball right now, but still, th- this is like nothing we've ever seen before. It is truly special what Shohei Otani is doing, and the mix of all of the talent that he has with, like, the, the power hitting and the speed, uh, honestly, like, they have him playing DH. He could play right field and be, I think, very good at it. Like, if they were just like, you know what? Pitching's not a thing for you anymore, my man. But now that the elbow's fine, you mind playing out and right? Because we, we kind of need you. He would be one of the best right fielders in baseball. Like, he is, just, he is just that talented that he is going to be that guy. And it, it is unbelievable what this cat has been able to do on the, the, this Dodgers team. I know there are some people in Mets land who think that Lindor should get the MVP for dragging the Mets into the postseason, I will say. Um, although there is some, you know... Weird math going on with uh, how the Dodgers are running their um, offense. Um, or not running, sorry, with, with how the Dodgers are running their payroll with deferred all of that. Um, Mets have a higher payroll than the Dodgers. So it's, oh, they're dragging this plucky group of youngsters making $323 million into the playoffs. What an unbelievable year for Francisco Lindor, who, yes, is having a, a great year. But come on. Come on. Yeah, like Toxic saying, um, Otani is worth his money already, and he's just been a DH. He's gonna pitch next year. And on it, like, he finished fourth in Cy Young voting last year. He is going to win the MVP. He is one of the great players we have ever, ever, ever seen. And th- this is, this next little chunk here is going to be basically the only time I say anything negative about the dude. Um, and how fun is it gonna be to get to see him in the playoffs now? Like, it, it's just, it, it is an unbelievable treat. And yes, I know I got the the Blue Jay stuff on today. Stings a little bit with all of them, right? Because he was supposed he was on the plane. Um, he he was going to be a Blue Jay. That this was going to be a thing that happened, and then it didn't in extremely heartbreaking fashion. And uh, that 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 was a major bummer. And so yes, there is the slightest bit of a ooh every time he's doing it. But that left in like for the most part that left in April because what he is doing is so special, and you just you can't hate the guy. The one thing I will say. Yes, I know. Uh, Chemically enhanced and whatnot. But we need to stop forgetting how good Barry Bonds was. And we can have the steroids discussion. um, uh, Toxic and Deeds. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of my stuff before. So maybe uh, this is broken record uh, to to you guys in the chat. But I kind of feel like if you wanted... If you didn't want to include Barry Bonds in history, then you should have busted him when he was doing his thing. Because honestly, how fucking hard would it have been, right? But now that we want to legislate all of this after, and I, I am talking all the steroids guys, right? Like McGuire, Clemens, uh, A-Rod. Uh, uh, no, A-Rod's different because he got suspended. So I'll take the A-Rod one off. But um, like Bonds, Clemens, McGuire. So like all these guys who you had doing all these things and there was the, the needles in the locker room and all of that. And you just let it slide for one reason or another. Okay, but now you can't legislate it after. If you want to bust these guys and you want to take them out of history, then you shouldn't have let them make history in the first place. And so to me, if if they got suspended or whatever, then that's a different thing. And yes, there's like documentaries saying like, yeah, he totally took steroids. All right, well, he didn't break any of your rules because you didn't catch him and you didn't suspend him. So you must have been okay with it. Also, he was also hitting tanks off of guys who were on steroids. Everyone was on steroids, so it's all fine. The one thing I will say is all the talk of like, and again, it's generational talent, and it is like all of it makes Shohei Otani probably the greatest baseball player of all time. At, at least the most talented baseball player of all time. Okay? Cool. Um, Let's stop with the, he's a better hitter and better overall offensive player than Barry Bonds. Um, Shohei Otani... And now that this has probably shifted here a little bit, and so maybe I should kind of readjust the uh, readjust the total here on the fly. But after his gigantic game, which again I can't believe I'm now going to say anything negative about this guy. um, Oh shit, his his war went up quite a bit actually in the last little bit. Um, But after that game, his war was at 8.4. So let's just see here real quick. Uh, Barry Bonds' war. Let's get this. well, let's get this all caught up and right up to date here. His career war was 162.8, which is just, again, absurd. Um, I had trouble finding this the other day. and I, There we go. Here's war. And so when we sort by war, 
Uh, so let's cut off here. I know none of you are seeing this, and for podcast listeners, it's even worse. But uh, all right, so he had a couple of seasons at 8, 8.1, and 8.2. But uh, with Shohei Otani's 8.4 war, uh, this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This would be Barry Bonds' ninth best season. And again, yes, a lot of that enhanced. Um, but I will say, the years that he did this, uh, had the better war than, uh, than, than, than Shohei. Uh, one of, <laughs> 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004. So yes, those are kind of the times we kind of assumed something was happening. But there is also 1990, when he was like 180 pounds. Uh, 92, 93, and 96. So there is a mix of what we assume to be the before and after for Barry Bonds. We forget how unbelievable this guy was in his career and how just absurd what Barry Bonds did. So yeah, no, 100%. Uh, Barry Bonds was one of the, or um, sh what Shohei Otani is doing right now is like nothing we have ever seen before. But we're talking about Shohei starting like the 50-50 club. Barry Bonds started the 400-400 and the 500-500 club. Like he is the only guy in those, in, in, in that, neighborhood in that neck of the woods and what he did was incredible so yes Shohei Otani most talented all of those things ever let's just stop with the Bonds thing because that is a different animal it is it, it is apples to oranges a little bit but let's just let's remember what whatever went into it literally and figuratively fine but what Bonds did was like nothing we have ever seen before and what Shohei did was like nothing we've ever seen before none of what I said takes anything away from what Shohei Otani did. But none of what Shohei Otani is doing this year takes away from anything that Barry Bonds did in, in his career because it was insane. So, rant over.